Robin, what do you think here? Was Tennessee wrong to back out after this deal was signed? Well, Tennessee embarrassed itself the way this went down. I don't think they are wrong in not hiring Greg Schiano if that is the end result here. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people take up defense for him, and, and I understand some people have personal relationships, but this is not random rumor and hearsay as I, I've heard it described. You're talking about testimony, testimony under oath that links Schiano to the Sandusky era and what happened in, in the terrible atrocities at Penn State. And when you're hiring somebody, you do a basic background check, right? I'm just shocked that this didn't come up in doing that because I'm not saying I was intimately familiar with the details, but I looked it up. I saw the, the Washington Post article about McQuarrie's testimony mm -hmm. regarding Shiano. I also saw that the players union in the NFL had accused him of leaking Josh Freeman's personal material. So for me, even if he is not necessarily guilty of those things, I can't say for sure he is, of course. I, I don't know that. It's enough for me not to hire him for a job. We're not talking about the standards for, you know, the criminal justice system or, or arresting someone. Yeah, right. I, I do have a problem as well with the way this was handled. They didn't learn anything new about Greg Schiano at this point and pulled out of this deal. They did the background check. The rumors, the allegations were there. I do have a bit of a problem with this, though. There was no proof against Greg Schiano. There was no evidence. There was no charges. He was not interviewed by the FBI. The allegations from McCreary came out in a civil suit that were never brought up in the criminal suit. So a lot of it is hearsay and second party, and it's caused him not to get this job. Now, when I look at the, the video of the protesters, I, for some reason, that's not the group of protesters I expected to see if this was the reason. That looks like an angry bunch of football fans who aren't thrilled with the hire. And, and the problem here going forward is Shiano's going to have trouble getting a head coaching job in seeing the reaction here. Tennessee caved under pressure from the fan base, also from politicians. A state rep started criticizing because Shiano would be the highest paid state official. He'd be the face of the state of Tennessee. This is going to stick with Shiano now way down the road. And this is a guy who was hired by a couple of other programs well after his Penn State days. Well, I mean, currently he's the defensive coordinator of Ohio State, right? I mean, I, I think you're right in the degree that some of this may have been, hey, this is not who we wanted as the football coach. I would push back a little bit on it just being like random allegations. Yes, you're right. There's no concrete evidence or proof, but there is testimony under oath. And for me, as someone hiring, that's enough to not make him the face of the franchise, considering the scandal that he would have been mired up in if the allegations are true. Right, but if, if Tennessee wanted to use that as the reason not to hire him, I, I guess I would have been okay with that. We probably wouldn't have known that was the reason, but the fact that they went into an agreement with him and then backed out under the pressure, this is a debacle. I mean, you can't say it wasn't handled poorly. No, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, that should be the one thing everybody agrees on, it was handled poorly. Yeah, a Pierre nightmare.